publication letter to John Bass. In the case of Mrs. Ewing, I was in for a surprise when I dug into the archives. Mrs. Ewing wrote to Principal Joe Sequeira on April 30th, 1982. April 30th, 1982. <laughs> Mr. Sequeira, I thoroughly enjoyed our meeting of several weeks ago. I also thank you for the flyer you sent by mail. I'm not going to read the whole letter. This is the good part. As much as I now would enjoy the, now somebody ate the bottom of the letter, the <laughs> position with you, I feel my young family is still the priority. By the way, her babies are here today. I intend, I extend my sincere thanks to you for offering the opportunity to me. This, this isn't going in the right direction at all, is it? However, I cannot accept the position. If there is any other avenue that I might be able to help you with in establishing the band program, feel free to contact me. Well, so. Julianne Ewing needed a little bit of time, and the school gave her that time, and fortunately, not too long after that, she was ready, and the result was the foundation of the spirited and successful John Baptist music program that we all know today. It's important that I not talk too long this morning because she has a lot to share, but when a person spends more than 40 years in education, and something like 38 at one school, we must pause to realize what a commitment like that means. No one in this room has given more to students than Julie Ewing. Teaching has been her life. And so now it is my very special pleasure to welcome to the microphone Ms. Ewing. Instead, I would become an exceptional music teacher, 
using my tools of tenacity and passion for equality to bring the same honor and respect to the musical teams that had always been given to the sports teams. I told you a little of my personal life to inspire you. You all have personal challenges. Make something out of them. It's possible. My first teaching job was for the Oregon School System, teaching K-8 music, building a band program. I jumped right in, creating equal time for athletics and music. I backpacked the woods and water survival, now called main studies, and even taught survival swimming, which was my best sport. After establishing a strong band program from fourth to eighth graders and writing a curriculum for general music, I left the program in 1980 for the impending birth of my first child. The year was 1982 when I was home with my delightful first baby, Nate. The phone rang. Hello? This is Joseph Kara from John Baptist High School. <laughs> I'm calling to ask to see if you'd be interested in starting a band program for our school. You see, a parent of students at both Baps and Center Drive had mentioned I'd been very successful in building the band program there. She suggested that he should call me. Point of interest. Do your best in all your endeavors. It will always serve you well. My answer was, no thank you. I'm going to stay home with my son. Being tenacious, Mr. Secura called again the next summer of 1983. Come and start our band program. We made it part time. You can have time at home. I was in. Best of both worlds. It's impossible to share these 36 years of the Birds even gave me an extra five, even though she glared me down. Well, I have to say, today's story will only include the highlights of how we spread the spirit and the pride wherever we could. How the community of faculty, students, and parents made the best magic happen. Congratulations to the seniors with more spirit today. It was 1983. I was in rehearsal on my first day with the original nine kids in Mr. McCarthy's room. I knew I'd have to be tenacious in recruiting more kids to fill out the sound. If you were singing, even humming in the hall, I recruited you. I made sure that the students knew it was cool to join as a beginner. After all, we should all be lifelong learners. We had 20 members by the Christmas concert, even had a rock band. We spent that first year learning the Star Spangled Banner, Pep Tunes, and the soon to be written school song for the winter basketball season. It's an absolute delight to play spirit music and see the crowd begin to smile, tap their feet, and even sing along, let alone be so proud of the band for creating amazing live music. The request, the request came in from the coaches and the administration in the first year. We need a school song to play for our sports team. Sports and music together. Now I was in again. Per tradition, I chose the written music of a college fight song on Wisconsin. The cheery coach and I sat down and wrote the words to what is now our beloved Go Crusaders. <laughs> By this time in my career, I could ask for help because I knew I would turn the corner and need it. Well, we were there. That's when we did jazz musician directing the stage band. There's only so much swing, and this is how the train began. Mr. Mack had just performed for our student body. He gave private drum lessons to a few of the Bax band members. There was no mistake that he had this swing. Mr. Mack said yes. It was perfect timing. He was teaching jazz after supper in the evening, and I was home with my second child, my daughter, beautiful Alexandra. Okay, I'm still looking for help. Next, I had to find parents willing to help. I found while teaching in Warrington that involving parent help was a powerful tool and blessing. Wanting to create the same for the John Bass Band, I formed the John Bass Band Boosters. Belonging to this group gave the parents ownership and pride and a connected th thread. Remember, they came from 10 to 15 different towns. The band Boosters spirit and energy became so strong, they renamed themselves the Fine Arts Boosters with a wish of helping not just band, but vocal music, visual arts, and drama. This past December, you could feel their spirit and pride while you attended their 28th annual craft fair. By now, my title is Fine Arts Director. Athletic Director, Fine Arts Director, you get it. 
Then had moved to the former cold lunchroom where it is now. Corral filled the former weight room where it is now. And Jazz moved into the football washer and dryer room where <laughs> it is now. Okay, I'm so proud. Next, I need a gift ship for the band. Sport team captains often made the winning difference. I wanted that for the band. Band council, a tool used by many band directors, was just a ticket. The pride and energy of the officers, the student section leaders, was contagious. They welcomed freshmen to music camp, ran extra sectionals, taught new theories, wrote inspirational notes to their sections, and even had time to collect food and money from them. You could tell musical spirit was alive and well now on the football field and the basketball court. How was I going to spread it even further and deeper into the BAPS community? Peppers. We take a small group of advanced players, bring our musical spirit to the smaller athletic teams, even golf. No words, no words. We played the Peptoons when they got off the bus, we played the Star Spell Banner just before tea off, and we packed up very quiet. The biggest social event for parents and students alike is homecoming, and it's probably, most likely, my favorite. The homecoming pep rally parade and football game were already a tradition when I arrived. Soon the band had gained enough strength that they should be on stage, welcoming the student body to the pep rally, pumping them up with musical spirit. The homecoming parade, from Babs to Cameron Field, behind Cohen School on Garland Street, was steeped with tradition. The football team led the parade in silence, followed by the cheerleaders, floats, and cars. Liability removed those vehicles soon after I arrived. I suggested to Mr. Mack that the Corral join the band in the parade on the bleachers for homecoming. He was in. Balloons, singing of the school song, lots of laughter, fill the streets in the stadium on homecoming evening. On a cool fall evening, I still get goosebumps when our Corral sings the Star Spangled Banner for the homecoming football game. <laughs> the things for homecoming were randomly chosen by each class when I arrived. Babcock, train coach, and I, the band director, created a change. One thing that could be used four different ways, creating a much bigger connection between classes. Babcock also suggested we pick pep music that you leaders could dance to. Up until that time, the leaders played their music from the boombox. The Fine Arts Boosters wanted to chime in on this wonderful BAPS community event. They sponsored the first tailgate party, and look at it now. The final piece of energy from homecoming was a suggestion from a student drummer. Ewing, you know that movie Drumline? We should have our own. The halftime show became a great venue for these performances. Polishing and publicizing. We streamlined the movements of the groups. Boosters and band pumps were everywhere helping. We advertised, created TV spots, and Burns painted our little map keyboard for each concert. Our message, spend an afternoon or an evening being entertained by our five school ensembles. By then, we had so many kids involved, we held an afternoon and an evening concert to be sure the parents could see and hear their students perform. The advanced ensembles of jazz band, concert choir, filled the stage, band, chorale, and chamber put on the floor. The advice, take as many days outside of school as possible to help build the confidence and grow the numbers in your band, added to my energy spirit, and definitely added to the history of BAPS. We took a lot. We rolled flatbeds with a generator powering the electric base in parades from Monroe, Bangor, and Edgerton. We played for political values, took the corral, took the boosters, and the cheerleaders, we played for Gore, Senior, and Junior Bush, and even filled the Yomo pep band's place when they were on break. We were able to play the exciting ice hockey games of the 1990s. There are two extraordinary games that have to take time with. The first one was in 1991, leading the troops. We were invited to the Vanguard National Airport to be at the terminal at 7 a.m. to meet the very first troops arriving home from the Gulf War. We created the musical spirit for the crowd waiting and played the five military branches as they came down the international ramp. I heard the word, stop playing. The entire terminal had gone silent. 
except for the sound of a tenor sax being played by a young army medic, Sergeant Tillman. His eyes were closed, and he was playing our star spangled banner from the depth of his soul. This moment was so powerful, the local TVs uploaded the live newscast to the national stations, and the entire nation saw this event on their morning news. For the next two months, there was a flourish of Dax's pride and patriotic fight. The band played the Armed Forces salute Stars and Stripes. Matt and I together directed the combined band and chorus, performing Matt's arrangement of an American trilogy, featuring Sergeant Tillman and our jazz drummer. This led to the invite to Washington, D.C. Please enjoy your visual trip with us on that 4th of July and check out the parents that weren't with us. Europe. I decided we needed an alternative. 
something less expensive, maybe explore the cities in the Northeast, landmark shows, museums. New York quickly became our favorite city to travel to during spring break. Backpacking on the AT became my favorite summer student activity, even though I hated my very first hike. I knew I loved it so much, I became a wilderness first responder. In the spring of 1994, the faculty and administration were brainstorming for events and activities that would create more camaraderie among the freshmen now coming from 30 to 40 different towns. My husband and I took Camp Rookie, changed his name to Summer Odyssey, and started our freshman orientation backpacking program to fit the bill. Total 20 miles, three days, two nights, with elevation changes of at least 1,000 feet a day. Even though it was tough, the simplest, it is the simplest of existence, carrying your bed, food, and clothing on your back. Mind will matter, and encouragement from your fellow hikers helps you make it to the next tent site. Best of all, all the camaraderie you do fills your soul while you eat and tell stories, and of course, you get to sleep. Here's a quick look at other fabulous moments of these 36 years. An anonymous gift of $100,000 for just the music program, for us, the music program, for our writers, and more. Making lifelong friends in Sergeant Tillman. Remembering all the smiles and laughter. Playing for the very cold 2008 football state championship game in Portland. Having part of the Lewis and Clark trip up the Missouri River in Montana. Being in the audience of Jazz by one of the states for the very first time. Okay, the next one is true. Hearing it goes to Babs, not once, but twice. The first time through the speaker system in the front office, and the second time in the walls of the classroom. Both sounded like someone was walking. Walking. The final strategy thing was always helping the boosters raise money. And I was pretty pleased that I had just auctioned off an empty private. Mr. Matt was not to be outdone. He auctioned off air. <laughs> was there a pool on the roof when I got here? And most of all,
You should be paid like doctors. You're so responsible for the choice of words, tone of voice, humor, knowledge and beliefs that you use every day. Congratulations to all of you for choosing this profession. So many times it seems less than rewarding, especially financially. But truly, it's the most honorable profession, second to that of being a parent. One day, society will understand that after family, influence, and love, we the teachers are the most important call for how our youth grow up. Take heart, the end of the year is near, and you will have the summer to recharge. You are an amazing group, and I'm so proud to have been a part of the job that's stuck to you. My final wish for the students, I wish for you the strength to follow your path, the wisdom to know what is right for you and what is wrong for you, for you to have the generosity to share the many wonderful parts of your soul with others, the strength to love and care for yourself first, so that you can give your very best to your loved ones and friends. Finally, I wish for you to understand there are three priceless treasures. Family, friends, and our beautiful green birds. With great love to you all.
office co-worker and teacher. And now Sule will reveal who the 2018-2019 yearbook is dedicated to. <laughs> Yeah. Miss Mary. 